Huh. Let's continue with this. What is up, my fellow knights? It is your Pyro Paladin there. And welcome back to Resident Evil 4 HD file reading. That's pretty much what I'll probably end up calling this little chunk of the series. File reading. File readings. Read a file. No. For the longest, my dumbass thought, like, because obviously when you, like, read them out, like, literally, they're different, but, uh, like, photography is photography, geography is geography, and, uh, <laughs> there was a feature on my DS, like, my 2DS that popped up, and I was like, um, what? What? Is this a new feature has been added? A pedometer. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? I'm not worried about it. It's just. Mm. What the fuck is a pedometer? What the fuck? Is Nintendo tracking pedophiles through the thing? Like, what the hell? But then I read it and I was like, oh, it's tracking how far you go and shit like that. It's a pedometer. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, my voice. Uh, it's hell doing this shit, doing so much reading because usually I can give myself like a little break of like talking and shit during the gameplays and stuff and I'm not so intent on putting on a voice or just consistently using my voice so doing this shit is wrecking my throat and stuff like that so we're gonna end up doing one more and then I'm done for a minute or in terms of uh, this is gonna be a three set of episodes I did one and now I just did one. And now I'm doing this one. And because I'm explaining everything, a bunch of you people probably just left by now. And fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's get back into this, shall we? The female intruder. Oh, hi. Is that her, like, zipping out or about to zip in? Nice placement of your leg, by the way. Your legs up so we could technically see your panties if it was like more angled to the right. But what are you gonna do? Just look up porn. Uh, and then the last one is just like actual legit gameplay footage because you can see how she's standing. It's like that's that's like gameplay footage of her walking around. That's in game model shit. That's cool. <laughs> That bitch is always cock teasing with what she does. It's awesome. There seems to be a female intruder among us. We believe she's connected with Sarah. We also believe that she's the one who removed the egg injected into Sarah before it hatched. Ah, it was Ada that saved him. She knew about the machine and she saved Lewis's ass. Albeit in retrospect, it, uh, it barely helped. I mean, what Lewis did for uh, uh, Leon and Ashley, and then uh, in terms of helping them at the cabin and uh, giving them the pills and shit, definitely helped. But yeah, she just saved a doomed man, basically. Fuck. She may also. She may have had him retrieve the sample. Sampa. Before the American agent's revival. So she told him to go grab it. See, I need to play separate ways and pay attention to the cutscenes. Again. Because I know that they were interacting outside the cabin. It's obvious that her objective is the Sampa. We must get to her before she's able to keep putting my mouth out of the microphone when I do that. Sometimes it's not so good. I mean, my microphone is not, like, disgusting. It's just, it's metal. <laughs> and plastic. And, uh, 
And plus, I'm breathing on it all the time, so there's got to be fun of fucking germs out there somewhere. Germs. We must get to her before she is able to reestablish contact with Sarah. There's also reason to believe that she's working for somebody. We need her alive for interrogation. The female should be able to answer all of our questions. If we have captured her, Sarah will no longer be of any concern. I.e. we're gonna murder him after that. As long as we retrieve the Sarah, you may dispose of him as you see fit. Yeah, Sadler's gonna do that by stabbing him through his body and slamming him down, which looked more painful than the stab, actually. <laughs> I said that before and I'll say it again. Ow. Butler's memo. Look at the eyeglasses and whatnot. And the diary. And the fucking fed that's fucking Salazar's picture. <laughs> I can tell from the outfit. Because uh, I don't think it's a self-portrait of the butler. But that's weird that there was an actual butler here. If you've never seen him. Knowing that Sir... Ramon Salazar had no family. Lord Sadler must have used his strong faith in the Los Illuminatos to his advantage to talk Sir Salazar at, is it senior or sir? I think it means sir. Into undoing the seal of Las Plagas once done by his ancestor. So, in the previous episode, I was wondering if it was Sadler, it was Salazar who went to Sadler and went, Hey, do you want this shit? Because I know you got fucked over, so yeah. But it was actually Sadler who manipulated Salazar because once again, like I told you, he was a young, punk, overprivileged kid. I don't know the exact details, and plus it's not really something um that i don't think is touched on but yeah he just came out to like this teenage kid and went your family fucked me really hard in the ass like my people the religion that we represent we got fucked real hard by your p your your family so can you give that back to me he's like uh sure Oh, we'll give you absolute power and shit like that as well. Fuck yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> Sir Salazar would never have done such a thing unless he was in some way being used unknowingly. I should have sensed the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partially responsible for all of this. That's probably why you're dead. It's fucking Salazar or Sadler probably murdered you, dude. And I realize I'm talking to a diary page, but whatever! I have no idea as to what the Lord is planning. But Sir Salazar was just being used. It's too late now, however. Sir Salazar has already taken the Plaga into his body. There is no turning back once the Plaga has turned into an adult inside the body. The Plaga parasite will not die unless the host dies. There's no cure. Perhaps Sir Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the Lord's plan all along, but it's too hard to tell. Eh, maybe, but sounds are she just seems dumb. He's like, I know shit. You don't know shit. I know things. You don't know shit. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Dumbass. Nevertheless, you are an outsider. Stop it! There's nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations. 
I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Oh yeah, they they, they murdered the fuck out of you then. Albeit, it sounds like you were a um like a willing participant and they just murdered you to murder you because it doesn't seem like you would have tried to rebel so yeah sample retrieved this is after the no way! so you got that memo before he died right okay <laughs> there's one in his head he's like what what's happening to me I what happened what? What? He's looking like over at the other dark going, thank God that didn't hit me in the <laughs> right in the forehead. He's like, uh... <laughs> that scenario makes me laugh. <laughs> He's like, hey, you almost hit me with that. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Drop into the floor noise. <laughs> Sample retrieved. As you may have heard, Luis Serra has been disposed of by Lord Sadler. The sample is back where it belongs. I had hoped that the whole matter could be resolved without troubling the Lord. However, as long as this <laughs> is safe, we can all rejoice, for our time is nearly at hand. Now that the Santa <laughs> is back in our safe hands. It'll be a bit more difficult than for that troublesome woman to get it. In light of all this, it's unfortunate that Sarah had to go. Like us, he would have been a bright he would have had a bright future if only he had shown more faith in our beliefs. As for the other two Americans, the Lord has left the matter in our hands. I don't know why I'm giving them such a posh voice. They are the villagers and and the people in the robes. We must not disappoint the Lord. We shall recapture Ashley and take her to the Lord and dispose of the American agent. Or, oh, as Sadler said to Krauser, dispose of the American pig. Okay. Ritual preparation. Oh, fuck. It's the bug guys. Man, that's a zoomed in face. He's like, hey, is that a camera? What is that? Can, can I see it? Can I get up close to it? Hey, is that me? That's cool. I look so cool. What's up, dog? Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm super fucking cool looking. And then the other ones are like action shots of them fucking like... Well, one's them floating in midair, another one's the, one of them, uh, at least one of them gripping onto that egg nest fucking thing that you could destroy. And another one is just it fluttering its wings while it's chilling, going, Nyar! Thanks to the efforts of the Novistadors, we have been able to recover. Well, we have been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the ritual. Yeah. Pre prepare for the ritual. For the sacred ritual as quickly as possible and make Ashley an official member of the Los Illuminatos. While we prepare for the ritual, those of you who feel inclined to attend our American friend. What? Oh, can attend. Okay. Jeez, I'm bad at this. We should be able to hold off our friend at least a little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower or something. Very tiny pieces of thick wood. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did. They're not even that hard. Like, okay, yeah, you gotta shoot them. The, the last one I thought you could knife, but I can't remember. But yeah, you get rid of them. Pretty easily. Fuck, I'm sorry about that. Oh, geez, three hours of sleep is a bitch. I think if we jam the gears in three places, it should give us enough time to prepare everything for the ritual. And apparently it does. 
Now go and entertain our American tourists. Man, why you gotta be segregating people and shit like that? It's very fucked up that you have to keep mentioning that he's an American. Like it's dirty. Look at the fossilized lost plagas. The first one. God damn, that shit looks like a fucking face hugger. <laughs> Look at that shit. Holy crap. It looks like one of the detachable creatures from fucking Dead Space. Fuck, it does. Lewis's memo number two. The first Castellinian buried the Lost Flagus deep underground below the castle to hide their very existence. But when Salazar released the Lost Flagus, no one thought he could bring them back to life. Because when Salazar found them, they were all just fossilized remains. Everyone knew that the parasite, the parasitic organisms could not survive without hosts. That they couldn't sustain life on their own. But when Salazar and his men excava yeah, excavated... I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I also feel like I'm saying that right. Excavated. Excavated. Yeah, that one. Excavated. The remains, it almost appeared as if the Lost Plagas were just waiting to be discovered so that they could resurrect. Uh, look at the village guy just standing over. He was like, hi. How's it going, bro? And then there's just a random hand of some dude. We got decapitate or something. Man, that is a very graphic picture of the head splitting off with like the creature underneath. I imagine that's how it looks to the fucking villagers when they first fucking transformed and shit like that. They were like, um, what's wrong with your neck? And they're like, holy fuck! Holy crap, that's very detailed. I actually really like the look of that. It's fucking creepy. It's horrifying. Several years later, unexplained convulsions started occurring among the villagers who helped with the excavation of the Lost Plagas. Ah, ha ha. That's why. I don't know if they were injected or if spores from the fucking uh, fossilized remains got into their bodies or whatever, but that's how the villagers became infected. And it says several years! <coughs> Which means this fucking shit was probably taking place around the same time as Resident Evil 2 and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Like, they probably started this entire process around before 2000. Fuck, because this game takes place in fucking uh, 2004. Because he said 1998. Six years have passed since I read this. So it's 2004 in game. And it said several years later that this shit is happening. And I don't know if it's. Like, right afterwards or not when Leon shows up. But it feels like a large amount of time. So, I'm honestly going to say that all this shit was happening during the first Resident Evil trilogy. The first the, the first three games. Holy fuck. Well, Code Veronica is only like six months after that. So, that's part of like... It might actually be part of 1998. She might be in 1999 by then. Yeah, I think she's in the early starts of 99 when Co Veronica starts. But Jesus, they've been doing this shit for fucking goddamn, man. Then one day, all of a sudden, these villages turned into violent savages. They later found out that it was caused by the Lost Plagas. Although they appeared to be fossilized, they were able to survive the long years by lying in a dormant state at the cellular level, remaining in a spore-like form. Yeah, like I said, when they were starting to excavate them as in fossil form, it was clear 
that they fucking transformed. That they had like spores that got inside the fucking villagers and shit that were working on it. That's why it was such a shocking thing for them to transform in the village. Not only did they not expect that to happen, but that wasn't supposed to happen. Like they just all of a sudden were like. <laughs> Apparently, during the excavation, excavation, the villagers inhaled the spores, and within their bodies, the parasites became active again. Holy fuck. This is how the Lost Plagas was resurrected. Which means, when that shit happened, Salazar and Sadler and shit saw the fact that the villagers were transforming, <laughs> and probably like started cutting the uh, the lost plugs out of their bodies and taking like the grown ones and putting them like taking their eggs and shit and putting them in the samples and stuff like that experimenting with them and then putting them in more and more villagers and just having them to inject more and more people and just keeping the process going all like fuck Even as I'm writing, the excavation of the Lost Plagas continues. Ah, my ribs. God only knows how many of these Plagas have been resurrected. Not to mention the countless numbers of Ganados that have been created. I guess they have a special word for the infected villagers and shit like that. Huh, Ganados. Oh, that's what he fucking says during the dialogue. He's like, I have absolute control. I'm not like those diminutive ganados. I'm saying everything out of order, but whatever. Out of text. But whatever. Is somebody trying to text me? Okay, no. Good. Fuck that. Get those diminutive ganados. The Lost Flagas are slaves to my will. Okay, that makes sense. Their inhumane activity must be put to an end. If they are not stopped, people around the world could turn into victims of this crazy cult organization. Fuck. Letter from Ada. Smooches! And you can pretty much read that by just looking at the piece of paper, but let's go. Once a plug egg hatches, it's nearly impossible to remove it from the body. But if it's before it hatches, then it can be neutralized by medication. That's why he was going to try and give them the medicine and shit like that. And he was probably going to give them that, that, that during one of the previous... Uh, Notes it said some about he stole some vaccines and shit like that, and I'm guessing this is what he got it for, because the pills suppress the growth so you can eliminate it through the machine, but I'm guessing the vaccine itself eliminates it when it's still in its egg form, but when um. When he went to them and he was asking them, uh, I know you're infected. Have you been coughing up blood? And they're like, yeah. And he's like, shit. The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. And then he went back for the pills. Because he knew it was too late for the vaccine. This is all shit I'm putting together off the top of my head. That makes sense to me that if it's in its egg form, vaccine works. If it's in uh, the hatched form, only the machine that electrocutes it, apparently. And I didn't say uh, um, electrifies it because electrocution implies electric, uh, electrifying until death. It's an electrifying execution, so it's an electrocution. Some people get that confused, and I just wanted to make that clear. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing that's why he was so fucking pissed, because he couldn't use the vaccine for them. If it does hatch, you might be able to get it out with surgery before it turns into an adult. Man, 
fucking Leon and fucking uh, Ashley, man. Theirs was like damn near fully grown fucking adults. I don't know how they could have became any bigger than that inside the body. If you look back at that scene where that shit's wiggling inside their fucking body and shit like that. Well, holy crap, those things were huge. They were taking up a shit ton of their torso. But it won't be easy. There's a high chance you won't survive the operation. As far as I know, the girl was ejected with the egg before you. Her time is ticking. You should prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. Smooches from Ada. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode right here because we did another 20 minute episode and that's the end of the Castle Files. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I know it's a little weird for me to do this, but I'm actually enjoying it. Like throwing out theories, seeing where shit came from, reading all this shit again. I'm, I'm actually enjoying doing this. So I hope you all are too, and thank you again so much for watching. And don't forget to uh, like this video if you enjoyed me talking. <laughs> it's pure and simple. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, hit a like on this video. Comment below about how much mind-blowing shit is just going on in your brain meats because of all these revelations. Uh, share this video around so people know I exist. Subscribe to the channel today to become part of the Twisted Knights table. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post things and whatnots. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching. Watch a hilarious highlight if you feel so inclined. It's always there to just give you the laugh. Cue laugh track. <laughs> I love you all to death ever, ever forget that. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are fucking amazing, and I love all the support, and just doing this makes me insanely happy. I love you all to death. Never ever forget that. And I will see you fellow knights in the later time. Bye, guys. I'm going to go rest my fucking voice. Holy shit. Bye.